not just 5G itself, but ed, but coupling it with edge services. Yeah. So when okay. you think about the marrying of edge services, so when I can, for example, have the processing occur on a IoT sensor or on mm -hmm. an autonomous vehicle, so I can define mm -hmm. exactly what's the optimal route for that autonomous vehicle or forklift. Mm -hmm. That becomes very exciting. If you no longer have the delay that needs to or the latency to send those instructions to the cloud or to an on-premise system and then have to yeah, send yeah. them back, right? So you now have that on board. So you have quite a bit more intelligence and quite a bit more responsiveness that we can bring to life that we haven't been able to do before. Mm -hmm. um, and I would also say the other key component is when you think about just the pure bandwidth that new technologies like Wi-Fi 6 and 5G represent, you now move from a 2D environment into a 3D environment. So if I, for example, as opposed to using an Excel spreadsheet to track down product on a shop floor, if I can use AR goggles to identify exactly a customer order, you know, it may be in located in three or four spots in the shop yeah, floor, yeah. and it had taken me six or eight hours to barcode scan and find that, well, if I could do it in a few seconds with AR goggles and have that route exactly where I need to go, mm. that fundamentally changes the worker's experience and their effectiveness on that shop floor in that day to yeah. the point that maybe they're working on three or four times as many customer orders as they had before. Right, right. So that's where we're seeing that step function change that because we have a platform approach, because we have the data and the analytics and SAP can provide really the core backbone to bring these technologies to life, whether it's you know advanced connectivity like Wi-Fi 6 or 5G, mm -hmm. you know, machine learning, you know, edge services. SAP can serve very much as that nerve center to make sure that all of these technologies link together in a fluid manner and mm -hmm. it supports a given business process. Um, so that's where we're, we're very, very keen on. You know, when you think about the next five to eight years, we're mm -hmm. going to see you know, significant change around how these organizations operate. So that's why we're, you know, we're very, very you know, bullish on the future.